How the hell there, neighbor Reno? It's got a few nice little pieces of news for you today. The first one is about the Samsung HMD Odyssey Plus. Normally, it sells for about $500 for the headset and all the sensors and stuff, but you can get it on sale now for $299. This one is special because this one has this one covers a mixed reality headset, which work which works well not only with Windows mixed reality but also Steam VR, which, as you could probably guess, is going to cover quite a large range of options for you in games. It has. Uh, it has 1440 by 1600 resolution per eye, which is better than the OG Rift or the HTC Vive, which, which each have 1080 by 1200. It has a 90, de 90 hertz refresh rate and a 110 degree field of view. Six degrees of freedom in, uses inside out tracking. And of course, uses the standard processing levels necessary for Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, Intel Core i5, 4th generation, AMD Ryzen 5, 3.4 GHz. But then again, you could end up reading all that for yourselves on the store page that I'll be linking to down below. And this sale is going to be active through April 27th. So I'm giving you this info now, but it's good for a couple weeks. So keep that in mind. The next big thing of note is that Poker Stars VR, you heard that right, Poker Stars in VR, has rolled out its 1.0 update. I'm not sure if any of you are looking into it, but VR, uh, PokerStars VR rolled out about six months ago in a closed beta test. And during that time, they've gotten a little bit of, a little bit of information from their beta testers, such as things that they, things that they want added into the game. One of those is sit and go tournaments where you can end up sitting down, playing a couple hands, and then go to work, or you can leave the table and get up, go to sleep, go to work, do whatever it is you need to do, and then you can come back and play a, play a couple more hands when it's your turn next in the tournament, or when it's your turn either in, in the game, possibly. That part, I'm not really sure, but... That was one of the things that they touted in this 1.0 update. Sit and go tournaments. Another one is the privacy bubble. Something that will allow you and your you and the other people at your table to avoid losing your prof. So the candelabra sitting in the middle of the table. Granted, that's a strange place to put on a, on a poker table, but the things that are added onto the background of your scene aren't going to be messed with. They're not going to, they're not going to mess with the cards at all. You know what I mean? And as a result, you don't have to worry about the other player's facial expressions really changing that much so you can focus on the game more. Another thing that they've rolled out, it, or yeah, that they've rolled out in this 1.0 update is that you can buy your chips with real money now. But because it would be gambling, you can't withdraw your chips for real money. That, that would go into a whole nother realm of online gambling and un underage deals and, and stuff like that, that likely they don't want to get into understandably because that that would dive into a whole nother realm of international law that frankly can get very confusing very fast so 
today we're just going to skip that part for now and you guys can check out that link in the description down below as well another little morsel of news is that the United States Patent Office has released information about one patent in particular that Sony is filing notably an updated headset so I'm sure many of you are wondering when you'll be able to get an updated HMD for your PlayStation so there is one that is currently in development or going to be in development that is wireless that's right wireless connectivity to your PlayStation 5 and when you match that with the foveated rendering that was released in the prescription glasses patent released last week it works quite well to allow the entire process of the immersion to be far less data intensive meaning that you could still get an amazing experience but it's going to be less taxing on the system so even with the PlayStation 5 being this massive powerhouse it's going to require around similar energy to run this updated headset as it currently does to run the PlayStation VR as a result we may very well get even we may very well get even better quality of VR games in the future and this in this entire setup will likely brought be brought even more into the mainstream which again follows the information that I brought to light yesterday with the with the industry growth report so be sure and check those check those links out in the description down below and the last piece of news for the night is something that I found quite interesting it seems that there is a, an arcade in Austin Texas called pinballs that is going to be introducing a VR portion they're going to be working with a company called Virtuix headed by Jen get to look they've created the Omni a virtual pad you can walk on as so that it feels as though you're well walking this would ad actually create quite a bit more immersiveness as most of the options we have at the moment for movement stem from teleportation there are a few different options available for directional movement however there isn't an option for well moving your legs and and walking in in an interactive immersive environment at the moment not unless you're willing to deck yourself all the way out and just blow up your budget however depending on how things go with this test case I suppose you would call it they will be spawning new locations around the Austin area as well as other other locations in Texas and they and they may even spring nationwide depending on how things progress but this may very well give everyone a much better chance to feel that connectedness in VR which will give everybody this option will give everybody much better access to virtual reality than they currently do this option will be far more cost effective leading to more access obviously so I believe that is a good place to end the video as always the links will be down in the description below 
If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.